everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome to some Banjo Chizui. So, in the previous video, we completed Mumbo's Mountain in its entirety and unlocked the first note door, which is only 50. But trust me, it'll get a lot harder as we progress through the layer because I think that next note door, if I'm remembering correctly, is actually 180. And we also talked to uh, Bruntilda, which is Gruntilda's way nicer sister, and she gave us some tips on how to deal with her sister uh, much, much later in the game. But for now, we're going to go ahead and come to this puzzle here. With our newly obtained 11 jiggies, it's not going to be hard to fill this. And you can remove it by pressing uh, down C. I thought it was B. But once it's complete, you can't do nothing about it. They're stuck in there permanently. I think there is a way to just go ahead and just fill the puzzle entirely if you know you have the puzzle pieces together. I think the button is Z. I think on the next puzzle, puzzle bottles tell you tells you about that. Um, but yeah, we're not going to worry about that passage over there. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that particular passage right now. And we can't do nothing up there. That's actually where level, where World 3's uh, puzzle is at. So now that we have it unlocked, or World 2 uh, puzzle unlocked, well, now we got to find it. Because all we did was fill it up. We didn't find the thing, though. Oh. Let me come over here real quick. This thing... Oh, God. Yeah, I got to get used to shifting this camera around but if you come up here that is the next okay so it is 180 that's the next musical door so it is pretty tight on music notes uh this game but if we come in here this is where treasure trove clove is at so we gotta oh i think this is where you oh yeah this is where you would come to to get the next jiggy, but all you gotta do is just super jump in here and we're in there. Now I think we only get two moves in this particular level. Yes, two moves, okay. One is that has something to do with that shot pad. Now be careful because, ow. I say be careful. If you power stump these guys or beak burst those guys, you do that. Um, there's a shark in this level called Snackers, and he will come after you if you're not careful or quick enough. Yeah. That, din that Jinjo is in a very, very rough spot. Uh, he will disappear after a while, but try to avoid the water as much as you can. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get him. Yeah, he is on my behind. He's probably going to hit me. Or not. Okay, cool. Alright, so actually, is there a... Um, is it, yes, it is in here. Yes, yeah, so Kazooie is going to learn how to fly. So, I don't know how, how to go about tackling this level, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. Let's first go over here. What you whining about? What's, what's wrong? Must you burp every time you, you, you speak? <laughs> Kazooie is such a bully. Yeah, so he lost his treasure. So he, he's kind of pretty down about that. <laughs> Kazooie could be a little bit more compassionate, but Kazooie is a lot of people's spirit now. <laughs> so yeah. Chicken legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it's simple enough. Just press A to elevate if you ever feel yourself uh, getting low in altitude or whatever the case may be oh thank you bottles all right okay um no mumbo transformations in this particular level so that's good so use utilize this time to actually try to go for every mumbo to token that you possibly can in this level with that being said i think there's one that i typically skip over simply because of the oh wow you're gonna actually come up here and harass me really no sit still now see 
Oh, y'all kicking my butt. Okay. See, you, you shouldn't have never messed with me. No, no, no. You getting this butt whooping. Oh, I'm getting this butt whooping, but that's okay. That's okay. I've never had that clam actively chase me like that. That's a first. <laughs> These controls are still a bit weird, but that's okay. I can adjust. All right. Next order of business, the move here. I don't know what it's called. Shock jump. So basically, you get on the pad, you press and hold A. And he go, wakoo, and then you'll get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the, we got the moves. We, we got the moves. So it'll go like this. Yeah. Now, sometimes you may have to go about doing a move like this. There will be situations where you'll have to start on a platform, but finish off on a different, uh, on land or something, or whatever the case may be. So this is essentially here to kind of get your practice. We don't really need all that. Well, we probably do. Well, I probably do. And then you just get up here. And then, I think you get two. Yeah, two pieces of honey if you just go ahead and just beat bust on them like that. So, that's good. Especially if the clams are going to actively come after you like they did me. Okay. Now, I could go up there, but let's actually take care of that uh, ship first. Let's go ahead and do that. I just wanted to come over here and get the uh, the other move, because they were relatively close to each other. So, Oh, salty hippo. Mm, that's quite fitting. If you big bust that there, you come down here, and I can't see. Okay, just, yeah, <laughs> it, it was a little rough. Like I said, uh, this, this place doesn't have a transformation. So like I said, utilize these mumbo tokens the best way you can. Uh, I, I think I got interrupted uh, because of the clams chasing me, but I typically skip over one or two mumbo tokens because it's in a very, very, very rough spot. Okay, take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other half to get to the other side. Where do you have to go? Should be like a... Uh... Uh-oh. I know that was one way. Oh, it might be on the other side where the water is at. I just didn't see it. I was about to say, it should be a, uh... Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, it should be like an opening of some sort. There we go. Brain fart, brain fart. It's okay. Now, even though I played this game a lot as a kid, this is one area that I never 100%ed. Because for two reasons, I, I wasn't a bright kid, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was relatively young uh, when this game came out. I didn't know that you can beak bust the floorboard. I seen the opening, but I didn't know you could beak bust the floorboard. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. And there's also another area, which honestly I kind of glossed over because I needed the moves. So here, here, hey, throw it, banjo, banjo, banjo. Banjo, throw that thing. Huh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just quit burping. Okay. So we got our first jiggy. Uh, it took a little bit of work, but that's okay. We're probably definitely gonna have to do this video and, uh, I mean, this level in two videos, which, I mean, it's fine, by the way. Where I'm at. Okay. I'm sorry. I, that was my fault. I was too busy. Oh, Lord have mercy. I am getting my butt kicked. My seafood. This is, this is ridiculous. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that too. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get 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 the stuff, get get all these notes, cause we need them all, honey. We need them all, cause this game is really, 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 really strict. 
Actually, can you get to the third level without going? Yeah, you can get to the third level without going to that other, without going to that second note door. But regardless, still, it's pretty strict. Anyway, this guy right here. Okay, I just have to associate his actual voice. Crustacean brain. <laughs> shell head so he does this little motion here oh god there we go i was trying to i was further away than what i thought okay go ahead and do that again okay are you gonna do it faster okay no you you're not okay so just do the rat -a tap tap that's the a b move right there on his poor eyes. Oh! Oh! Ow! Okay, I should not be getting my butt kicked. Okay, he does it twice, right? There we go. Jesus. Now you go inside his stupid shell. Yeah, the invisibility frame thing, the no invisibility frames in this game, you gotta watch out for that because you can easily find yourself in a loop. <laughs> now, I know it's two crabs in here. That's why I'm kind of taking my time. I don't know how it's two crabs inside of here, but there is. Oh, okay. J just stop being scared. There you go. I I'm just sorry. The, 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 the seafood is... is, is been pretty rough on me, okay? This was the other Jiggy that I never got as a kid. I don't know why it never occurred to me to poke his eyes, but I will. It'd be alright. <laughs> okay, seriously, Banjo, I didn't want to not want to kind of use Kazooie as much. Well, for you guys, because, you know, it's quite annoying. Now, let me make sure there's no... Okay. Oh, how else could I go about doing this level? Oh, I just skipped a bunch. Did I? I mean, not really. I'm actually at the beginning of this crap, so that's actually pretty good. So be careful. Don't hug up against this guy, because it's obvious this guy has teeth. Sometimes this guy may have eggs. I think these guys has uh, two mumbo tokens, as a matter of fact. So definitely take the time out to go in those chests' mouths and check them out because they have notes, they have feathers, they have mumbo tokens, and I think one of them even has have a jiggy. So be mindful of that. Don't just skip over them. Take the time out to actually look into them. So now we're back where we got the original uh, shock mount. E. Okay. The original shock mount. Oh yeah, the pail. Okay, there we go. Hi. Yeah, I got you. So you turn around, uh, poor guy. And you gotta poop out the eggs. I thank you. Oh, and also gets rid of that stupid mine. Now, later on in the game, you can put certain, like, cheat codes and stuff like that in the game. And in order to put them inside of it, you would have to come to this place and beat bust the num uh, numbers. Letters. And put them in that way and i just knew i just knew that that was gonna work in my head i was just like that's gonna work it did not work okay i may have to go at a higher altitude i prop well that mine was right there so I'm just like, yeah. oh i need to go out there at that box i, I definitely need to go out to that box because if i'm not mistaken it's a freaking um jinjo out there in the middle of nowhere like an idiot Okay. Hi, buddy. And win your prize. Oh, gee, I wonder how you win the prize. 
Oh, it's quite simple, as a matter of fact. Just spell out Banjo-Kazooie, and the stupid gate will lower itself. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay. Well, not really a while, it's just, well, you know. It's just spelling. <laughs> Where's the K? Where's the K? Oh, there it is. Is there another A that I can hit? Oh, there it is. I was about to say it should be. I was about to say, I don't think you can hit the same letter uh, twice. It should be another O. There we go. I gave you plenty of time. Uh, is there another e? Okay, there's not a E in a E, so. I just gotta hit this one. This guy's going to come out. So come on, bring it on. You're not gonna get me. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, he got me, y'all. I lied. Ow. The fact that I'm struggling this bad is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely nonsense. It's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay. Now I prefer to actually use a fly pad to get out to that stupid uh, box because it's safer. I ain't gotta worry about snackers here trying to come after me. So I'm actually gonna do that before I forget. Oh, wait. You go up here. Yeah, you go up here. Go up here. Alright. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Should be over there. There we go. I was about to say, oh, the limitations. Oh, that is not where a Jinjo is at. Uh. Never mind. <laughs> I could have swore Jinjo was on that side, but I'm happy to learn that it wasn't. It was just an extra life, so uh, screw that extra life. Um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I say that, and I'm getting my butt kicked by practically every enemy in this uh, level so far. It's just terrible. Very terrible. Okay, so we went down there where the leaky stuff is at. Okay. Let's go over here. Actually, I probably could have got over there without the... Okay, I don't... Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do it the short way. Why not? Okay. So now that we got that... Oh, the honeycomb thing is right there. I thought that would disappear. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I could definitely use the extra honey. Don't hurt me. See what I'm saying? It, it does have like music notes in here, so do be mindful. Okay. Now hurry up in here before before the clam come gets me. Then I'm gonna be upset. Oh, it's just feathers. In here. Gosh darn it. That's fine. Okay. Well. No, 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 no. I want to kill you. There we go. That sounded very morbid and it also sounded very painful, but I don't care. It's you or me. Um, so I'm actually going to end the video here. And in the next video, hopefully we can finish off the rest of this level. Four jiggies and both the moves in, intact. And we got to do a little bit more explore, but I, I think it's a pretty good start for the level. So if you'd like to see more Let's Plays or Weekend Walkers from the channel, please be sure to click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day.